to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. How would you like to spend your weekend on board a tall ship schooner? Well, as producer Clay Johnson reports, if a nautical adventure is what you're seeking, then welcome aboard the Genie B. This is called a schooner, a gaff rig schooner. The Genie B is a schooner and a school. Anyone know what this is called? Yes, it's called a boom. Paul Del Rio is captain and teacher on this sailing yacht that now calls the downtown Washington waterfront its home port. If you look at some of the old photos of the waterfront in Washington, you'll find that this whole area, this Washington waterfront, was littered, literally, with schooners. The schooner Genie B brings back a bit of that era to the original Washington. We're very excited to be in Washington. It's just a, a beautiful place. It's nice, serene water. Uh, large river to be able to navigate quite well on uh, with a sailing vessel. This sailing vessel is a replica of sailboats that were popular along the East Coast in the 17 and 1800s. Uh, because they could sail really well upwind, which some of the other square riggers could not. So they've got a rich history. The Genie B was built as a private yacht in 1980 for cruising off the coasts of Florida and the Bahamas. She later became a training vessel sailing through the Panama Canal, along the South American coast and down to the Galapagos Islands. So she has been around. She certainly has earned her wings in the Atlantic and Caribbean Sea. The Genie B now spends much of the summer as a floating classroom for children at several summer youth camps and each year takes a group of high school kids on a two-week cruise. Uh, they live on board, a group of 12 students. They cook for themselves. They learn teamwork. They learn how to sail. It's a very big thing for someone of that age. It's wonderful. The rest of the year, though, the Genie B offers a little wonder to visitors to Washington. This 72-foot schooner takes passengers on half-day and sunset cruises on the Pamlico River and is also available for custom charters. Putting up 1,300 square feet of sail and catching the wind as we are right now. I don't hear an engine, do you? <laughs> it's great, it's good, it's good crowd, a good, a good vessel. It's, a, a, it's just good. good day, what, what do you think of the ride? Oh, oh it's great. fantastic, great. fantastic. What do you think of it? I think it's great. I think I think people would have a lot of fun coming out. Yeah, you could have a good party on this Yeah, place. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually celebrating our five-year wedding anniversary, so. Yeah. Now, why is this such a great way to celebrate your five-year wedding anniversary? Well, it gets us away from the children. <laughs> <laughs> the city of Washington gives the Genie B free dockage and in return gets portions of proceeds from the cruises, but it also gets a whole lot more. A coastal tourist attraction that's closer to inland towns and cities than most. Most of the time people have to go uh, quite a bit farther, another hundred miles or so, to the coast to really get an experience like this. So we wanted to bring it in just uh, so for that convenience. So we, we offer uh, a nice convenient place for, uh, for folks to be able to bring their families, uh, sail upon the river uh, in some nice safe conditions. And uh, everyone just loves every trip that we take. The Genie B's agreement with the city of Washington will keep the schooner here for at least five years, and many hope she'll stay much longer. We definitely are going to invite our friends down to, to, to uh, join us on future cruises.